Axial Wraith getting some upgrades thrown at it today. So this is Troy from Roadside RC. Um, again, maybe if you've seen a recent video, <laughs> we've kind of tortured our Wraith. And so feeling bad, uh, feeling a little guilty and wanted to crawl a little bit better. And so we're throwing some parts at it, just some upgrades to see what we can do to make it overall crawl better. Um, and these are, we have the Axial Universal set so that we can a couple of these products are here so we can get better steering angle the universal set and then some Vanquish knuckles These are going to help us and so we're going to try to see if we can't prove out that it'll help us get Some better steering angle out of this and then we have boom racing. These are the uh, stainless tubes that go in the front axle here help add some extra weight uh, and some extra strength to those front axles for all those times that we are more mm, bash crawling instead of just regular crawling scale crawling uh, helping to strengthen up this plastic axle up here in the front all right so for today let's get the body off of there we're going to blow this whole front suspension apart we're going to get these axles these axles in we're going to get these axle tubes in we're going to get these front knuckles on and we're all going to look to see of does that improve one the crawling and then two does it improve the crawling and does it improve our steering radius that we have in order to help us get around some of those tight obstacles that we encounter it's so like i said one of the things we want to test out with this steering angle and so we're going to try to get a baseline we're going to mark right here next to each one of the front tires so that we know where we place this we're going to put the center line of that front axle right on the edge of my workbench and then we're going to crank these over all the way and i'm going to mark what is that angle that those came out on simple right not rocket science but it's going to be very simple let's put all these parts on let's see is that angle different Okay, so here's something kind of unique. Um, I apologize. I actually got the tube in this side. Um, slid it in so easy that I didn't even get it on camera. I apologize. Um, so this tube, trying to stop two reasons before you get there. One, uh, I had to pull this screw out up here. It was touching it as it went in. Put that back in once we get there. Obviously, you got to watch these. You got to make sure that these ends line up appropriately with these holes. Because um, if you get them off, then you're not going to be able to get your screws in for your suspension mounts. Same thing with here. But the other thing, so that's reason one. Reason two is I get it in this far and it won't go any further without some level of persuasion so um i don't know what it's hitting in there it's not a screw it's literally like the uh, housing tapers in a little bit so i'm going to gently tap this in the rest of the way really really hope it works because if i get this off at all i'm gonna have a really big time getting it straightened back out to get the screws in so very careful and deliberate with this piece
finished product. Check this out. Well, I can definitely tell just from the get-go that it steers further than it did before because the tires are currently hitting my suspension links. Okay. So we are going to have to watch our end points here. Otherwise, we are going to uh, have a problem. But let's set this back. So let's straighten the wheels out. Set it back. There was our marks. Wheels are centered on here. They We are between our marks. And then if we jack this all the way over to the right, well, one, that falls off, it appears. And then you can see the difference there of the angle that it was before and the angle that it is now. It's just my workbench. I don't care. Look at that angle difference. So that is what we have gained by putting on those Vanquish knuckles. Check that out. Mission accomplished. I like it. All right, so I have work to do. Obviously, in order to make this really a success, I need to fire it up, uh, reset my endpoints on the steering to make sure I can take advantage of that. Like I said, though, uh, until I put some smaller tires on it, um, which people have been telling me I need to do that, uh, until I put some smaller tires on it, I'm actually still not going to be able to use all the advantage that I have now because I will be hitting those lower links. All right, cool. Hey, I'm excited. That one actually made a difference. It's nice to see upgrades that make a difference, right? Um, thanks. Hope, hopefully this was useful for you. If, uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments down below. And thank you very much. The value of shopping at your local hobby store. So I had been looking at these Vanquish Knuckles for a little while. I had them in an Amazon cart. I had them in an eBay cart. I hadn't purchased them yet because I buy a lot of stuff from Vivid Aerials at my local hobby store. Guess what? If I had bought this myself, what would I have bought? I would have bought exactly this. Not knowing that, guess what? To complete it, you need the little bushing kit that goes with it. And it's $6.99. Guess how much you can buy this for on Amazon right now? Ten, eleven dollars. My local hobby store is carrying them for seven bucks and sold them to me so that I can actually complete this install successfully when otherwise I wouldn't have had them, I wouldn't have known, and I wonder would have wondered why my front suspension is sloppy and doesn't work as well. So the value of your local hobby store, shop local.